Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a hair tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how I did this full blown out look as well as how I've been styling my bangs lately. I've had a lot of y'all ask me how I've changed up styling my bangs as I've been growing them out and I wanted to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial using the new T3 Airlux hair dryer. This is a brand new launch from T3 and this video is actually sponsored by T3 but if you guys have been a part of my channel for any amount of time, you know that T3 is one of my favorite brands. I use all of their products and they're just a very important important part of my hair routine. This dryer is really incredible though because it has a wider airflow so it cuts down drying time. I did this entire blown out hair look in 10 minutes which is really really fast if you've never done a blow up before. This thing is so powerful but it also has a really gentle air stream which is going to help you retain 60% of the moisture in your hair so it's not going to leave your hair dry and brittle. Your hair is going to still feel super silky and smooth even though you took a hair dryer to it. So I will have a discount code down below in the description box for T3 as well as a link to the dryer and the round brushes that I am using for this tutorial but let's get into it. Okay, so my hair is about 30% dry and I'm gonna start on my bangs. I'm actually going to spray a heat protectant through my hair first. Just whenever I am blow drying my hair, I like to make sure that it is protected from any type of heat damage. So I always start off with a heat protectant and then I'm actually going to focus on my bangs first so that those can get set and in place. So I'm going to tie back most of my hair. I'm going to brush all this stuff forward and then grab these sections to the side here and then taking the smallest round brush from T3 and the Airlux hairdryer, I'm going to turn this on to the lowest heat setting and the lowest fan setting to quickly do my bangs. we got some really good volume here in the front. This just lifts the bangs off of the face. Now I'm gonna grab these side pieces and round brush these kind of to the side so that we can create the curtain bangs. Same thing to this side. And I always like to kind of place my brush where I want it and then pick up the dryer. So as you can see, we've got some really good volume and shape here around the face. I love the way that it just kind of sits and frames the face really nicely. So I'm actually going to just kind of let this set and then go through the rest of my hair in sections. I'll just use a claw clip to clip up the parts that I'm not working on and I like to work in smaller sections. It's much easier to manage all the hair if you've clipped a lot of it up. So I'll start with this bottom section here. And like I said earlier, the T3 Airlux dryer is so great for cutting down your drying time because it has that wide airflow. I can do my whole head of hair in about 10 to 15 minutes, which is really fast for a blowout. But because it still has that gentle airstream, I'm still going to retain a ton of moisture in my hair and it's not going to leave it fried and damaged. So I am going to do this bottom section here. This is going to go by really fast. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to walk you through it before I just jump on in. I'll take each section and I will take the round brush like this and I'll be rolling it up as I blow dry it. And then I'll also be flipping the brush under so that it's going to create a nice curl as I go. So you'll see me do that throughout the video, but I wanted to show you guys talking it through before I just put some music over it. And I'll actually crank it up to heat level number three in full fan setting. So 
so I just dried this whole half in like a minute and 30 seconds. It was really, really quick. So now I'm gonna do this side. So this bottom section is dry, so I'm going to tie it up really quick. Where's my hair tie? Drop this section down and section it one more time. I like to do three sections. My hair is relatively thick. So same thing with this section here. Last section here. I'm gonna let this cool for a second. Look how pretty and like voluminous this looks already. And this last section is definitely the most important because it's, you know, the top section. That's the last section here. And I'm again, letting everything kind of cool to set, but we'll take the bottom section out since that is already cooled. This is the hair. Is this not incredible? How much volume we got with this? It's so silky smooth and sleek, but still very like bouncy and full. I have been loving using this dryer to do a blowout look and especially the bangs. I know you guys have been asking about how I've been styling my bangs lately and this is exactly how I've been doing them. It's super quick, very easy. Of course, it takes some practice, but I am just obsessed with how like the side kind of curtain bangs have been looking lately. So I hope you guys liked this video. Be sure to check out the T3 Air Lux hair dryer. I'll have it linked down below in the description box with my discount code as well. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you found this tutorial helpful and if you end up giving it a try as well. If you are new here on my channel and you wanna stick around for some more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you back on my channel and I will see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys. Bye.